hello people welcome back to my channel fitness geek uh, in today's video we are talking about terraform modules so terraform modules is just a way to you know create reusable code so when you need to create you know multiple resources having same configuration rather than writing multiple resource blocks you can just write a module and then call that module to create multiple resources this is the official documentation for the modules it will give you all the information that you need the meta arguments that are allowed within the module block the allowed module sources uh, local path the telephone registry the github these are the all supported uh, source types and it will also tell you how to use these uh, sources and these are the meta arguments you can use count to create multiple resources and for each so let's deep you know let's jump onto the demo this is my folder structure i have created a folder called modules that folder has got a subfolder called storage module so what i'm gonna do is we will be creating multiple storage accounts and this folder will have three files a main.tf output.tf and variable.tf we'll also create a sql module later the first part of the demo is for storage account. If you see, there is there are like three files: the main.tf, output.tf, and variable.tf, and the subfolders, which are our actual module folders, also have the same three files. Our configuration the out the outer main file will have the actual configurations for your terraform the terraform block the backend providers all those information and they the main.tf within the subfolders the modules will have only the resource block which will be using variables so you will write it in such a way that it will accept all the variables and create resources accordingly this is the main.tf outside our modules the actual main terraform configuration file it has the terraform block you can see the provider and the resource resource group so i'm creating the resource group from this main.tf and I'll be calling this resource group inside our modules. That's our backend configuration. We are using Azure Storage Account as our backend. So it's a remote state file. So far, so good. That's our resource storage account, sorry, resource group. And I'll be calling this resource group in our modules. The name is FGADFRG, location is UK South. And within this main file, I'll be calling our modules. So this is the storage account module, the main.tf. I'm creating a storage account. That's our identifier. If you see the name, resource group name, location, I'm using variables here so that you know you can have inputs within the module and that will create your storage account. And I'm also creating a container. Again, the resource 
block for the container is also you know uh, using variables the variable dot tf has all the declared variables within your main dot tf these are the variables here the resource name the resource location the unique name and the container name these are all the variables in our module now Now let's call the module this is the module block this is how you will use your uh, module so the most important part is knowing the source you type source and then you use the location of your module it's a local path dot slash module storage module yep yeah, that that is our module location and these are the variables that we will pass through our module the inputs the four inputs here these are the things that we are passing from our module block we are also using account so we are creating two storage accounts with the same module If you see uh, the resource name, the resource location is from the resource group as well. The unique name for the storage account, I'm just adding some index from the count. The container name so in each storage account will create a container called content let's do the terraform plan takes a couple of seconds to start and there you go there are that's our plan and five to add so if you see there were like two storage accounts two containers and one resource group let's create another module for Azure SQL so I'm just using the code from Terraform's official documentation for SQL Server make sure to use all the variables that you want var.sql server name Our dot resource group name we have not declared this yet we will do that the location Currently, I'm just using 
I mean just giving some names to the variables I will declare those variables in our variables dot tf I'll not uh, you know I change these this is not good practice to use hard code the password and the login name for the administrator you can always you know have these values stored in key vault and just call that key vault get that secret and use it in your administrator login and password but that uh, we have done that in our previous videos for this one i'll just keep it short just use whatever it is because our main goal is to create module for sql server and let's just yeah anything any password is fine it's a really bad practice to hard code the password in your configuration files always use key vault in such scenarios and yeah you can let other uh, settings as is let's now declare our variables what was the sql server name another was uh, for the resource group i think yes and the name of the resource group and the location for the resource group resource location so that, that's the location where your sql server will be the region where the sql server will reside yeah we have just declared three variables and we have like we have used those three variables in our sql server resource block and the last part to call that module type module and the module name the count for example we want say two sql servers then the input variables for our module The resource group name will just be using the resource group that we have created so we're just calling it via azure rm resource group dot rg dot name then the resource location again we just want to use the uk south so we'll just call the resource groups location and our last input variable that is the actual sql server name the main the main part of a module is the source because that that what that that's what tells terraform where to get that file the config file so yeah we have used the source local path modules sql module and the last one is our sql server name copied let's go to our main the name of the sql server fg hyphen ms sql As the name should be unique, I'll just add a suffix
that should do it you can use anything you want I mean, you can use a random string that you can create or a random number but this should be fine for this demo so all is good let's do the terraform plan again now we should have like five to add sorry seven to add this error module not installed so whenever you add a module you actually need to run terraform in it you need to initialize it your module gets initialized if you see here initializing module sql server is sql server in module the location and then we can do a plan again Now we should have seven resources to add. One would be the resource group, two storage accounts, two containers, and two SQL servers. The result is as expected. Let's go and check out the names. If you see the SQL server, that's the resource group and then the sql server if you see the name it has got fg if you see that's the index fg msql dev1 and then fg msql dev2 so it creates two unique sql servers similarly for storage account You've got two storage accounts and that's all so we could go ahead and you know create these resources but yeah just need to run the terraform apply and that should do it and thanks for watching this video uh, stay tuned for more upcoming videos on terraform and